The weekly bundown is back. Yes, I know I've been gone for a couple of days, but now I'm back and there's been a whole bunch of shit that's been going on. So now if you guys want to know my take on what's going on in y'all world, then make sure you watch this video. One more year on the blog of them They're not gonna lift the sip and sip rock again She get the wings them, so she not stuck again So she bad mind out of luck But she has some hard work you put in And them a block the door never want you put a put in But what fi bip, a fi bip No man can try to cool what a fi we hang So big up off and big up and all on up to get big up Chuck off What's up everybody, it's your girl Babsy here. I'm back with the weekly bun down for you. I know there was not a bun down last week. Reason being is that I was extremely ill. As you guys know, I suffer from migraines, so I've been down for the count for a couple of days. But now I'm back up and gonna you understand. I know you're probably like, oh my god, you're back in your background and stuff like that. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, my brother was here for the whole summer, so I had to like take down my studio so that he could have a place to live, you understand? But now that he's gone, I'm able to get back my studio and we're back up in the crank. So let's get into all the shit that been going on over the past couple of days just a heads up if you guys are watching this video on youtube make sure you subscribe to this channel you might be watching this on facebook make sure you follow my page babsy at large and if you're watching this on igtv make sure you are following me on instagram my name there is strictly babsy i'm not recording this three times i'm going to be recording this once and putting it on my platforms because everybody's just kind of been like how come we didn't have a video here how come we didn't have a video there so going forward i'm going to be putting these videos on all my platforms so every motherfucker could be happy before i forget make sure you subscribe to my mom's cooking channel it's going to be up and running in probably about a, a week um the first segment is going to be how to make bajan cuckoo with a twist you don't want to miss that i'm going to be featured in it a little bit a little bit ting 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 so make sure you're subscribed to her channel so you do not miss the first video so the number one topic that's been going on for the past couple of hours and days is this whole machine gun kelly versus eminem and machine gun kelly versus g easy if you're not abreast on this story, let me give you a little rundown on what's happening. Eminem dropped a surprise album on Friday. Dropping this surprise album, he basically had disses for a whole bunch of people. He dropped an album a couple of months ago. Now, if you guys don't know how hip hop fans are, they are very, 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 very cultish and territorial as well. And because Eminem had some pop songs on this last album, a lot of people were upset. They were like, he's not showing bars. He's not showing who he is. After all this time from doing an album, he comes up with this so a lot of people were upset so this new album kamikaze that he just dropped on the weekend he basically takes shot at all the people who were criticizing him over his album previously in addition to that he takes a big shot at machine gun kelly he's pissed off because machine gun kelly basically put up a tweet i'm going to post it here um a couple of years ago where he was talking about how good eminem's daughter looked eminem didn't really take that too nicely and he's been pissed with machine gun kelly ever since machine gun kelly was on funk master flex the same day that the album dropped however he was on funk master flex's show doing a freestyle taking on g easy now all these rappers are white people right i know some of you might be like who 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 just keep up i'm trying to educate you on what's going on in the hip-hop world g easy and machine gun kelly have beef because obviously they're two white rappers they've toured together whatever and they've had some personal dramas behind the scenes and allegedly machine gun kelly slept with g easy's girlfriend and he's been taking a lot of jabs about that which is old Oh, Lord have mercy. So in the hip hop world, you don't talk about people's moms. You don't talk about people's girls. You don't talk about people's children. g Easy did a diss track to Machine Gun Kelly's Funk Master Flex segment. But Machine Gun Kelly was already writing his diss track and recording it for Eminem, who released his album on the same day. So basically, Machine Gun Kelly was beefing with Eminem and g Easy both on the same day. Child, you know how these white people get down? You know, at least we know nobody ain't gonna die and people ain't gonna get shot and shit over here. Well, I hope not. Now, I'm going to give you my take on this because I'll just be honest. Um, You know, Eminem is my artist. He's my era. You know, he's, you know, he's proven himself, you know, even as his race has nothing to do with it. But as a white rapper, he's always held his own and, you know, he gets a lot of respect. I give 110% props to Machine Gun Kelly. And the reason being is because he answered him. And if you guys don't know, all rappers are afraid of Eminem. It's always like, don't take on him. Don't take on him. Don't take on him. And basically, Machine Gun Kelly came for Eminem's jugular. You 
have to give him props for at least replying because a lot of these artists would never reply to M. At the time this video was recorded, Eminem just dropped his video called Fall and that's where he's going um, hard at like Joe Budden and academics and a whole bunch of other people. So at the point in time this video was recorded, Eminem has not responded as of yet. I don't know how things are going to transpire between g Easy and um, Machine Gun Kelly as well, but I know more people are more interested in the whole Eminem versus Machine Gun Kelly right now. So g Easy, I think he's going to have to hold a backseat until everybody hears what Eminem is going to do um, in a reply back to Machine Gun Kelly because he has to reply. And based on my scoreboard, I'm giving Machine Gun Kelly one, Eminem zero. I'm giving Machine Gun Kelly one and g Easy zero. You guys can leave your comments below and let me know how you feel about it. But I think Machine Gun Kelly's in the blasted lead and you know my artist is Eminem But I'm gonna be honest Machine Gun Kelly is in front the next drama that has been going on over the past couple of days That is on every news outlet is the Aretha Franklin funeral drama There's been a lot of drama that went on with this funeral now first thing first a lot of people have been complaining about the hundred pink Cadillacs outside the funeral apparently this is a request that Aretha Franklin had and a lot of people fulfilled the request and came up with their pink Cadillac so motherfucker came out of the dead like Chuck Woolery to come and complain and be like it was over the top and even Jesus never had a funeral like that. Child, has somebody not given these white people in America the memo that you don't talk about certain black people and come for certain black people especially when it comes to church stuff and funeral stuff? I know Chuck Woolery is gonna go back into hiding after the curse out the people and scathing fucking dragon rassle that all scrub out that he got on social media. People are talking about how he needs plastic surgery and a whole bunch of shit people if you don't know any better refrain from commenting on black church affiliated things in america next drama that went on with the funeral is reverend jasper williams who was basically criticized heavily by the franklin family for his eulogy they found his eulogy to be very disrespectful and they found it to be politically charged and they're very upset with reverend jasper williams for the eulogy that he got now i don't want to be an asshole but how do you really pick the the, the reverend that's going to do the eulogy at, at, at a funeral like, do you guys have a run through, a rundown? Do you sit down and watch him at another funeral and be like, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna pick that, I'm gonna pick that reverend right there. I don't know how they ended up choosing him, but all I know is that they've been very upset with the way that he conducted the eulogy. And I'm gonna link um, as much as the funeral I can below. It was nine hours long. Yeah, so, you know, you might have to um, fast forward some part. People were also up in arms that Farrakhan was at the funeral. I'm not sure why. I mean, I don't know if Aretha Franklin invited him. You know what I mean? People in funerals like who shows up at your funeral like can the person actually control that can a person actually write and say i want so and so at my funeral and i don't want so and so there i don't know i'm not really versed on this funeral thing and what made it worse is farrakhan was up jumping when fantasia and jennifer hudson and these people were singing i'm telling you people these people will find fault in everything we do in life even in death there's a problem and bishop charles ellis the third has been heavily criticized for his touchy feeliness that went on during the funeral as well he was on stage with Ariana Grande and there's a clip of him hugging her up and it's like he was like almost touching up her breast and thing and people were like he's a little too touchy-feely he has since come out and put out an apology about that now I don't know about funeral etiquette as well because I don't know why you know um, a bishop will be hugging up a person I don't know if they're trying to check how great thou art <laughs> must a shot for that one come on give me props for that one how great thou art sidebar they lucky that George Nooks wasn't up in that crank because you know if George Nooks came and saying how great thou art the whole church would have been skanking but I think Fantasia and Jennifer Hudson might have been a little bit upset and they would have been a little competition because you know how these people are they want to compete when it comes to this whole gospel thing and sidebar Cicely Tyson was the best dressed in the entire building like look at this picture right here look at this hat like I'm telling you you know those older generation heifers went home and they fired the stylists because of this people lost their jobs over this because Cicely Tyson took the night when you step out tonight yeah, black and, and you have on a hat like that is over people were like all on websites on news outlets being like Cicely Tyson got best dressed people lost their jobs over this like this is how dramatic this funeral was like people want to war singing people was all like um, how great thou art and hugging up each other I'm telling you we cannot have drama in life all the time and not have drama in death 
Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin. That's all I gotta say about that. Another topic that's been buzzing hard over the past couple of days is Colin Kaepernick on the Nike's 30th anniversary Just Do It campaign. As you know, Colin Kaepernick, he was um, a football player at one point in time who decided to kneel during the national anthem in America. He has since lost his role at the NFL and all kinds of stuff have been going on. So you know, now that he's on Nike's campaign, a lot of white people are upset about that. They're saying that Nike is disrespecting by putting a man who disrespected them and all this drama because you know everything in America is racially driven. Some motherfuckers went as far as to cut the Nike logo off their pants, off their shoes. One man actually set his shoes on fire and got burnt and ended up in the hospital. <laughs> he lucky his bitch ass ain't get he mother cunt burnt to ass. Holy hell. Sorry, I just had to bring the baby out for a little bit because that just kind of aggravates me. I saw other people like, I'm gonna go support Converse now. I'm like, bitch! Nike owns Converse too. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't know. I just think that it's a little bit overreacting to be cutting off Nike logos, setting your mother cunt on fire over what? Like, you know, Nike's been through a lot of drama over the past couple of decades. So I don't think they're worried about that. The Nike stock's gone up, it's gone down, and things are just gonna go back to normal after everybody finds something else to fucking be mad about. And some additional drama that's been going on on social media, if you did not hear about this, Jeffrey Owens, aka Elvin from The Cosby Show, has been under a lot of criticism. He was filmed working at Trader Joe's in America, and people were like, what the fuck? How you leave from The Cosby Show, and you gone here, and you gone there? And this is kind of annoying for me, because my thing is this. He could have went out and started pimping hoes, and selling drugs, and doing a lot of things. A lot of people don't understand how jobs work. Like, my mom has no financial issues, but my mom will see an advertisement coming that Amazon is hiring a thousand people at the warehouse, and she wants that job and she's talking about applying. She's not talking about applying because she wants money. She's talking about applying because she wants something to do. I think that Jeffrey Owens is showing how much of a man that he really is that he would still turn and get an actual legal job where he could have turned to a lot of illegal activities. I'm sure that his royalties for Cosby, you know, they might not be great because Cosby's under a lot of fire right now, but still, I don't think that he has to worry about, you know, being bankrupt anytime soon. He came out and he said that the reason he chooses jobs like this is so that he can get time away to do auditions because he hasn't really held a job in acting in a very long time so that's why he has jobs like this and that's what I'm saying like people are shaming the man because he's earning an honest living he's still chasing his dream while he's you know working as a legitimate person in society and paying taxes what the fuck is wrong with that? And before I go, some very good news for the Soka world. Ola Tunji was on the X Factor. He has made it to the next round. I will link that performance below if you did not get to see it. You know, all four um, judges said yes to him. Simon really liked him, which is really good. So as you can see, Soka starting to make his little come up here and there because, I mean, literally, you don't see Soka artists like that get through on big competitions um, of that magnitude. So to see Ola Tunji get there is amazing. And also, Massacre was on um, television in America last week on Fox News and this is a good thing for Massacre because I've seen for years people disrespect Massacre online calling him an iron balloon and seeing him on Fox News and being received so well he spoke exceptionally well better than I thought he was going to speak to be honest because a lot of these times you see these artists they're high and stuff like that he did a very good job you know they spoke about him um, three days back to back you know they even bigged up JA Radio Soul Flow TV and D MR News, all three of those people um, I'm good with. So it was good to see, you know, that dance hall vlogging is starting to get the recognition that it's supposed to get. And it's funny that it's an American outlet that has to embrace them as opposed to Caribbean outlets because they too busy trying to compete, but they're going to get trampled soon. You know how that go. You guys are going to have to come work for us someday. You better get in good with us now. So there you have it. The Bun Down with Babsy this week, guys, just know that I'm going to be here live on YouTube and on Facebook Sunday with the Caribbean News Weekly. We're going to be doing a more of a news type segment um, live with Facebook and with YouTube at the same time. Just know that Dear Babsy will be back this week Friday with a twist as well as I'm going to be bringing back the um, IG segment where the artists come on and talk and stuff like that um, over the next couple of weeks because we are trying to get things back on track. Hopefully my health stays good because as you know I do suffer a lot from migraines as well as I am on the 
keto diet. I am losing weight rapidly. So, you know, there's a lot of things that go along with that, like run belly. So hopefully I could get on track with my health and start to feel a lot better so I can start to do a lot more videos. So like I said, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you're following my page, Babsy at Large, so you don't miss any of these videos. If you're on my Instagram, IGTV, make sure you're following me on Instagram. My name there is Strictly Babsy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe below and you don't miss any of my other videos. So mwah, love you guys. I'm going to talk to you soon. Bye.